Hello everyone, it's me Titus I. Today, we are doing the new dungeon, The Flame Dragon's Nest. I hope I can give you some tips and tricks. So you can finish this new nest with your friends as well. First, it's best that you have the Holy Trinity on your party. Tank, Healer, and Damage Dealer. The tank should stay in front of the dragon and keep its aggro. Because if the tank lose the dragon's aggro, it will be in rage state and start flapping its wings. You must avoid that. And keep your party's HP high so you can survive the upcoming strong skill of the dragon. Keep an eye on the meter on the left side of the dragon's icon. If that bar gets full, the dragon will use his breath of distraction skill. And that is one if not his strongest skill. And the one you guys need to be prepared for, especially your healer. Here it is, Dragon will now use Breath of Distraction. For all healers, always save your ultimate skill and healing skills for this. You all need to be in the area of the Saint's ultimate skill. To gain the damage reduction effect, then time your dodge to lessen the damage from the Dragon. At 8th of the Dragon's HP, the Phase 2 will now begin. Take this time to heal up before following the Dragon and starting the Phase 2. Phase 2, Lava Cores will randomly spawn. Cores have countdown before it explodes. Be mindful of the core carried by your teammates. If it explode and you catch another core, it will stick to you and explode again, other than that just fight the dragon until the dragons. HP drops to 7th bar. Phase 3, at 7th HP bar the dragon will fly out, and will summon the trolls that will be locked to the two lowest DPS of the party, and will keep on following them, usually it's the tank and healer. Guide the trolls and make them walk side by side so the damaged dealers will have a good burst at them. To deal more damage to the trolls, pick up lava cores around the map then try to be near the trolls when it explodes. But be careful not to hit the players guiding the trolls. If they get hit by the cores, they will be knocked up and the trolls may catch them. If a troll gets too close to its locked player, it does a burst skill that can damage everyone in the area, so the guides need to keep their distance. Kill the two trolls before the countdown ends, so you may avoid the dragon's rage and breath of distraction combo. After killing the trolls, the dragon will go back down and will be in rage mode. It will now cast a flying attack that will hit for 8 times. So you better have your iframes and the saint's ultimate ready just like when the dragon rages at the first phase. While fighting the dragon at this phase, I suggest you don't go or stay too long at the dragon's back. Because it may use its spinning move and the damage of that is a bit too strong. Now, just fight the dragon and save your ultimate, before its HP drops to 5th bar. Remember to keep your eyes on the dragon's rage meter, and be always ready for its fire from above move. Now at 5th HP bar just repeat your tactics from 7th HP, and you'll be okay, but reminder, after this trolls the dragon skill rotation will be much faster. Some players says the lava of the floor can damage the trolls, and some players say it only makes the troll take more damage, what I can only confirm though is that. 
the lava cores really does damage to the trolls. You can do both as long as you do it with caution and coordination. Phase 4! This is the final phase. Just use all the tips and tricks from the start. Final tip, keep a watchful eye on the floor because more lava will spawn from here on out. You can identify it when you see a swirling circle in the floor. Move away from that because it will be lava. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Watch till the end to see how we finish this flayed dragon's nest. If we can do it, I'm sure you all can do it too. Don't be afraid to fail and try again because experience is the best teacher. And most important is enjoy the game and the mechanics, especially with your friends or guildmates. With that said, I would like to give a shout out to my PHA family and to all Tito and Tita. Especially to my party here, Tito Mikus, Tito Joker and Tito Doms and my lovely partner Tita Eller. P.S. She told me to say that. Goodbye everyone, see you on the next video. This is Tito Sai of Sile Plays. Thanks for watching, we're out.